Let's move on to uh, the boxing today because tributes are being paid to the boxing commentator Harry Carpenter who has died. He was 84. He'd been unwell for some time. Carpenter was the BBC's boxing commentator on radio and television. Best remembered for the relationship that he struck up with the former heavyweight world champion Frank Bruno. Bruno coined the phrase, you know what I mean, Harry, at the end of each of the answers that he gave to Carpenter's questions, and the phrase stuck for many, many years. The boxing writer Colin Hart covered many of the uh, big bouts in the 70s and 80s with Carpenter. Colin covered them for the Sun, and uh, Colin, um, Harry Carpenter, was the voice of the sport for all those years on television while we were all watching. Well, Great. he was indeed, and I'm proud to have been considered an equal by such a consummate professional. You know, he was known, of course, as for boxing, but, you know, John, you'll appreciate this as a broadcaster, he could do everything. He fronted golf programs, he fronted Sports Night when that was the BBC Sports flagship program, and he fronted Wimbledon for many years. He was an all-rounder, but of course he will always be remembered for boxing, but not only for Bruno, he also uh, brought Muhammad Ali and then Cassius Clay to our screens, and he had some wonderful interviews with him. He also had a great rapport with the young Mike Tyson, who uh, he did another wonderful series of interviews with him about the history of boxing. So he was an all-round broadcaster and journalist and a, and a lovely guy. Great common touch, too, in those interviews, Colin. But what were the Bruno fights like? Because they were the ones that made him, weren't they? Uh, well, I think that's a bit unfair on, uh, on Harry to say that Bruno made him. Maybe Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali made him. Um, but he was such a good professional, he made himself. I mean, he did help. Uh, I'm not saying his career wasn't helped by Frank Bruno's You Know What I Mean, Harry, but I think Carpenter helped make Frank Bruno as well. And uh, he's, his knowledge was uh, impeccable, and he, was, he had that warmth, a warm personality that drew people, people out of themselves. I mean, he didn't have to draw Ali out of himself, obviously, but he did Frank Bruno, who was basically, a, like himself, a very shy man. You know, with all his fame, Harry was a very self-effacing uh, fella. And when I travelled with him, it was always obvious that he tried to keep in the background and to avoid autograph hunters. <laughs> he, he, he never allowed uh, his fame to get away with him as a person. He was remembered as a, as a nice guy, and from some of the things that I've been reading today, what people have said about him today, he always had a word of advice for people when he was asked. Absolutely, including me. I mean, he was uh, you know, a very well-known boxing uh, writer, broadcaster, when I first started boxing, uh, covering boxing in the 1960s. And he was one of the very first to come up to me and say, look, son, if, uh, if you need any help, this is where to find me. And he, he was like that with everyone. Good call of a fight as well, wasn't he, Colin? I mean, a nice objective guy in a sport where I dare say there were a lot of people who didn't want you to be objective. Uh, no, but he did get carried away once, you know. If you remember, a uh, famous occasion in the uh, Bruno-Tyson fight, the first one, when Bruno hit Tyson with a left hook and uh, Tyson shook all over like a big jelly. And Harry, and he, had, he, was, he, he was a bit annoyed with himself afterwards, screamed out, if you remember... Come on, uh, Frank, you've got him, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Go on, go get him. But, I mean, at that him, moment, he was, he was speaking for the country, because we were all watching that thinking exactly the same. Here was a man who wasn't, who was, uh, I mean, he was a beast in the ring, Tyson, and there was, you know, Frank Bruno, our national treasure, and he had him for a moment. Well, for a split second, he could have changed the course of history, but unfortunately, Frank, you know, didn't go in to try and finish him for some reason or other. He just uh, stood back for that split second, and Tyson recovered. You have to wait a while longer. Colin, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Tributes have been paid to boxing commentator Harry Carpenter, who's died at the age of 84. He passed away in hospital in London on Saturday. His lawyer said he'd been unwell since a minor heart attack last summer. Harry Carpenter was most famous for his commentaries of Frank Bruno's fights in the 80s and the 90s. Well, I'm joined now by another former heavyweight boxer, Sir Henry Cooper. Very good uh, evening to you. But this is very sad news, isn't it? How do you remember Harry Carpenter? Hello, Sir Henry, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello there, I'll ask the question again. This is very sad news, isn't it? How do you remember Harry Carpenter? Well, it is sad news, yeah. Uh, Harry, you know, was one of the old school uh, 
he came from that that school of good boxing writers. You had Red Guthridge, Desmond Ackett, you had Wally Balderman, and he was he was up with them all. So uh, it's a great tragedy that we've lost him. Yeah, yeah. What was it, do you think, about him that stood the test of time? Was it his rapport with the boxers himself, his, uh, his, his amazing and distinctive voice, perhaps? Sorry about that. I didn't just quite understand that. Sorry, I've, I've got a problem with my hearing. I must, I'm sorry. To, I'll, uh, ask you, I'll ask you once again. I was just trying to find out what you thought made him stand the test of time. This was a man who did this job for, for decades. Sorry, you can you? I just can't hear it. It's all being getting mixed up with me. Well, I wonder uh, if we'll try I and. I can't, you know. I can't. Well, Sir Henry, we will leave it there for the moment, but perhaps we can return to you. We'll try and sort out our sound to you in just a moment, but let's just.